Does this shirt show my tits? Fuck, it does. Okay, just gonna hunch forward and act like I don't have them. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Red Cryptor, back with another video for you guys. And today, I'm not gonna be sliding into my wall and breaking my poster, and because it broke a lot of other things, like my spirit. But today, I'm going to be bringing back a series that I haven't done in quite a while. I love doing these. Uh, my core fan base usually loves when I do these. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Hobson song. Now, I've done a few of these in the past. I think I've done Ski Master, Slump God, Logic, Jorner, Lucas, Lil Pump, and 6 9 So if you guys like this video and you want me to continue to do more, please let me know. I read every single comment, even the ones that call me a fat-ass piece of shit, because fuck you guys. It's all good. I laugh at a lot of those because I call myself a fat-ass piece of shit all the time, but people still continue to call me a fat-ass piece of shit, acting like it's gonna hurt my feelings. But anyways, for those of you who are not familiar with Hobson, he's literally one of my top five favorite artists of all time. You can shit on me for that if you want. I don't really care. I have so much respect for the guy. He's one of few independent artists that completely made a name for himself all on his own and blew up by himself, so I have so much respect and love for the grind that he has. But on top of that, the man makes some amazing music. Ill Mind of Hobson 5 is literally my favorite song of all time. But in order to make this song, what I'm going to do is look at a few of his songs and show you guys some examples of what he sounds like, his rhyme schemes, how he makes hooks and things like that. We'll also pay attention to the beat in the background because Hobson has a very specific ear when it comes to beats. I'll try to take as many aspects from a few of these songs as possible and just mush them all together and make my own song and see if it sounds like Hobson. Okay, so this first song right here is Ill Mind of Hobson 5. Anytime somebody says Hobson, this is the song that immediately pops into my head. Now, I can't show you guys the entire song because of the copyright issue so I'm just going to show you snippets here and there of what I want to use in the aspects of my own song but right out of the gate I know I want to use the visuals to this music video the entire room is like black lit and he's wearing white so everything just pops on him he has the white contacts and everything I have a small room in here I've got some black lights I'll throw them up on the room and we'll see what it looks like man I hate rap but if the shoe fits wear it I become a freak of nature, all the kids stare Who walk around bumping raw with the shit blaring Saying fuck school and dropping out like a miscarriage Okay, so immediately that is something that I noticed in a lot of different Hobson songs Is his rhyme scheme Another thing that people notice Hobson for are his corny punchlines I don't want to call them corny, I just... I don't know, they're like far stretch punchlines sometimes, dropping out like a miscarriage. I mean, some people think that's corny, some people think it's really good. I think it's like a far stretch, but you know, he has a lot of stuff like that. But also the rhyme schemes in the majority of his songs are multi-syllable rhyme schemes at the end of the line. Sometimes it's two syllables, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, but it always happens at the end of the line. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I become a freaking nature, all the kids stare at. Who walk around but raw with the shit blaring, saying fuck school but dropping out like a miscarriage. So as you can see, he's got the multi-syllable rhymes going down, three syllables at the end of each line, and it's, it's, he uses that in, like I said, the majority of his songs. That's all I'm going to show you, Vilmon of Hobson 5, but go take a listen. Like I said, it's literally my favorite rap song of all time. All right, this next song, again, one of my favorite Hobson songs, Rip Your Heart Out with Tech 9 Again, this is another situation where I can only show you snippets of the song, can't show you the full thing. But this song also contains what people say is Hobson's corniest punchline, so I'm going to show you guys that. Just a sperm cell that climbed the body of dad. Yeah. Like Alright, there it was right there. Motherfucker, I got balls like a mash ketchup. Like I said, he has a lot of different punchlines that are like this that people view as corny. I don't particularly view them as corny. I just think they're like really noticeable or like kind of far stretched. I don't know. I, I still enjoy it. But I'm going to try to hone in on that and throw a couple of those punchlines in my song that I do. Alright, and this last song I'm going to show you guys is my brother's favorite Hobson song. Uh, it's False Advertisement. It's another really good Hobson song. But again, I'm going to show you guys the chorus of this to show you how he kind of repeats some stuff sometimes and how like he gets angry and really emphasizes on what he wants you to put out. Damn, ho, shut the fuck up! So there you go right there. Like I said, he can tell when he gets angry and just like repeats the same thing and like really ferocious with the way he's delivering everything. The face cam size might be a little bit different on this one because I'm recording it after I've already shown you guys the other three songs because I remember this song as I was editing this. But the beat that I'm choosing reminds me so much of Ill Mind of Hobson 8 that I had to show you guys. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? Homie, I made you rich. Paid your rent. Damn right. Biting the hand that was feeding you, this shit don't make any sense. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know this is that real shit. How you gonna forget who built this? Huh? I'm the one who made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Man, this is tough luck. See, a couple weeks ago we was bugged. And that dude that was killing shit was us. Till you turned on me, homie, that's fucked up. I 
All right, so there it is right there. I just had to show you guys a quick snippet of what the beat sounded like, the build-up, the hard-hitting bass, like just the, the nodding part. But yeah, on to the next shit that I was doing. All right, guys, I think I've shown you enough to try to get a better reference of who Hobson is and how his songs are kind of structured. But now that that's out of the way, normally I would browse for beats on this and everything, but I want to focus more on the song and not try to extend this video out for a long-ass fucking time. So I've already picked a beat. I've already got the music video style that I want to do, and I'm just, I'm just going to go right on into that. A career that I was destined to choose. I had a message to the youth through words and weapons they use. Don't be regular and stare right the rest of these dudes and prove you ain't stupid just because you ain't finished school. Because the guy who invented it, he didn't finish it too. The day I left was like a blessing in disguise because I picked my shit off my desk and left in the blink of an eye. Until this guy walking by pulled me to the side and he asked, Hop, what are you doing, man? You can't skip class. I said, I'm done with this shit, bro. I've had enough. When the fuck am I gonna have to calculate a parabola? I've got better shit to do on my music I need to make. If I stay Another minute, it's more time that I would waste Time to keep putting my pen to the pace It is my fate, and if you don't like what I say Then get the fuck out my way Mama keep them pots and pans in the kitchen Mama keep them pots and pans in the kitchen Mama keep them pots and pans in the kitchen Cause quick coming for dinner, he the man in the kitchen Hobson's mama keep them pans in the kitchen Cause I'm big for a reason, a meal I don't plan to be missing I'll be grateful for any food that your hands will be fixing But I got a few suggestions if you don't care to take a listen I got a list of strict diet of whack rappers and fake bitches Taking my face, they ugly faces and shaking fake bitches Burning to a crisp, blowing down with seasoning Billy a glass of gin, passing bitches off with a clip Step up in this game with flames straight from my cranium There's no containing a beast when he unleashes all of his rage and yo The stakes are raising, tell your producer there ain't no saving yo I'll make your skill disappear like a David Blaine in training When you grab this mic, you struggle in strife You trying to find a round of supply However your mind is fly from getting so high You'll never get by the age of 30 hurting your body It's high, but you probably ought to be out of be out of options Honestly, I don't see how you flawlessly copy all of these rappers And actually logically bad them that you pass them in commodity It's a monstrosity that your mind is She's non-existent like the prophecy that you give But lyrics are fucking like side of you think I'm real, so bitch, I just slipped a tip and tied to flip the script, it's rewritten And Chris Penn with a different end inside you Wishing you could do what I can, but you won't get it right Thinking that you're Superman, but you're fucking with Chris tonight Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I had so much fun making this. Hot's an amazing artist and like I said, he, he raps so much like I do anyway so this is really easy for me to try to make. If you guys did enjoy it, please let me know. Drop a like. Comment down below if you guys want me to do this again and to what artist you want me to do this with. If this gets enough support and enough likes, then I'll definitely try to do this again someday. And last but not least, shout out to all these amazing people on the screen right now for supporting my channel. If you guys didn't know, there's a little join button next to my subscribe button on my page. If you guys click that, you can pay $4.99 a month to support your boy. You also get a nice little 
little badge next to your name every time that you comment a video. And like I said, I look at all my comments, and if I see that badge beside your name, I'm going to heart it so it stays up at the top of the comments above everybody else's. But again, thank you so much to those individuals for supporting my channel. I've tried to follow all you guys on Twitter. If I saw that you had one, you are about page on YouTube. But my gratitude is ever immense, so thank you so much. But until next video, guys, it's been your boy, Red Crypt, and I'm signing out. Penis. Bitch, take a second to reflect on the message you're rapping while everyone's watching. Damn, the nonsense. Positive, you novice. I've been honest longer than Obama's been in office. Eight years ain't enough for a G like me. Ripping it up since T.I. was T.I.P. It's unlikely inside of my psyche that a guy might be able to decide.